we're here out in Sloverville near Soweto, a site selected by Johannesburg Water uh, due to its location and the fact that the local community would benefit from this project. Following the success of the new gen technology and KZN, we're very proud to be part of this project as we bring sanitation solutions right into our communities that have previously suffered and not had access to these amenities. The technology also has to be serviced and there will be further opportunities for small and medium enterprises to do the servicing work and the technical support work. I'm a smaller business person in this community. Uh, this is my first project, uh, the, the biggest actually from this year uh, since we have this pandemic. It was not easy. But we learned so much from this project. Uh, I think now I can compete with other companies for the future. Bonga oguti ufika kwa le kontene kutashika umpagati na umpagati obunga na loto ukoni le oguti utole something kutashika kwa le phone ne family yao. Kui project ishinge amatole tega the toilet sabo na anga correct. Hi and welcome to the new generator which is the nutrient energy and water generator off-grid toilet system. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the process. So wastewater comes from the toilet block on our right hand side over here which is just conventional toilets. The wastewater is flushed and it is then screened on the outside of the container. From there, the wastewater is treated via biological and physical methods. And we start with the anaerobic baffled reactor, where the organics are broken down biologically in an anaerobic environment, which produce energy rich methane and water with a low organics content. From there, the water is pumped through an ultrafiltration membrane module in a cross-flow fashion, producing a clear water stream and it returns the particulates back to the anaerobic reactor. From there, the water passes through what we call a nutrient capture system. And those are done in the tanks over here. From there, the water is then disinfected. And that is done with an electrochlorinator, which is located over here. So the treated water passes into the chlorination tank, which disinfects the water, killing any bacteria or pathogens, making sure that the water is uh, safe for its final reuse applications. The treated water is then pumped to either the recycle tank, where it is reused for flushing the toilets, thereby saving from municipal water. It can be pumped to a soak away, where it is safely discharged to the environment, or it can be used for fertilizer in a community garden, which will be developed in the coming weeks. So the biogas is stored in what we call a biogas tank. And from there, it can be used for a few applications, such as gas burners for cooking. We recently embarked on a new project with the WRC on the new generator where we'll be installing a new generator system at the Kanyasani Primary School. At the Eastern Cape site we are planning to install female urinals which we are very excited about, um, especially to promote gender, um, gender equality and young female empowerment. 